Let me just take a moment and just stop and think. Ten years in. Seven point seven million people are alive because of the Global Fund. But in two thousand and two thousand one, the rich countries were just letting everybody die. We were fighting the equivalent of a civil war, but one without guns. The fact that people could buy life made it very, very painful. That it was an accident of geography, of longitude and latitude, where you were born decided whether you would live or die. AIDS, of course, was increasing. Tuberculosis was not dealt with, and malaria. It was a scourge that was there, and very little was being done. When I was president, and for the years before, there was a sharp global divide between the countries and citizens who could afford medicine and those who couldn't. The world had no group that could figure out how to stop the AIDS emergency, and yet, it felt like the only way we could get all the resources together to help the people, particularly in Africa, who are suffering from these terrible diseases. Action! I got HIV when I was barely 18. I started treatment when I was 30 years old. I'm now 40 years old, and I hope to live maybe another 30 or 40 years. If people get out on the street, if they march, if they get organized and get busy, they can accomplish amazing things. Things don't have to be as they are. The world is more malleable than you think. You can kick it into shape, you can kiss it into shape. The main thing was to have people realize the centrality of health in human development and therefore in any nation's development. The Global Fund was the institution that changed that policy and changed the direction of the epidemic. The Global Fund is about the only time I can remember as a political leader where you set something up that was supposed to have a dramatic impact and it actually had a dramatic impact. What the Global Fund meant when it was introduced, it meant hope. We were able to put so many people on treatment and we were able to avert so many deaths. What looked quite impossible then, early 1999, 2000, became a possibility. The Global Fund brought countries together, corporations together, it brought societies the resources to deal with a very difficult epidemic. We can be proud wherever the world is able to work together in such a way that we overcome misery and improve people's opportunities in life. And I'm proud that in the last 10 years, the Global Fund has made funding for healthcare and treatments more available to countries all over the developing world. 230 million bed nets distributed, 8.6 million cases of tuberculosis diagnosed and treated. People all over the world responded to this call. Everybody who cares about humanity must be proud of the Global Fund. Today, we have one of the most impressive primary health care programs throughout the whole country. We have ARVs, we have TB drugs, free. There is a lot to be done. We can carry on. It is important because it saves lives. We're only part way through the battle. Two pills a day can save a life. We gotta get them the two pills a day. We can't stop now. We've only just begun. They should be proud. This is the best thing that they could ever have done for humanity. We cannot stop now. Everything hangs in the balance for those whose lives depend on continuing this fight. And that's tens of millions of people in the years ahead.
more and more people reach the point in their disease where they need these drugs. And only if the resources are there can these now low-cost drugs get to those people. There are countries where governments do not have the resources and the Global Fund is absolutely essential to realize that health is a global public right. And this is why the Global Fund is so important, is that it actually taught me that these problems needn't overwhelm you. Which is not to say you can deal with them easily or fast, but you can deal with them. I know it's just been 10 years, but so much has been accomplished. Together we've worked to turn around these pandemics. We can all be proud of what we've achieved, and we must all be determined to finish the race. Happy birthday, Global Fund. 10 years on. Much to do, but much you have done.